There's been a lot of news this week, and sometimes it's so hard to keep up with some of the offbeat stories. It's a good thing we have Carly Shimpkins here. She's a reporter for Fox News Headlines 24-7. Carly, my friend, what you got? Okay, let's kick things off with more criticism of old movies. Turner Classic Movies launching a new series that will explore the troubling and problematic aspect of old Hollywood movies. 18 different films will be put under the microscope, including Breakfast at Tiffany's, Gone with the Wind, and Psycho. A panel of experts will discuss the movie's potentially upsetting moments, including depictions of racism, and sexism. Turner Classic Movie host Jacqueline Stewart says the goal is to have deeper and longer conversations that will enrich the viewer's experience of the film. So they're not being canceled, Lawrence, but they are being re-examined. How do you, how do you have the conversation if the movie is no longer an original? I think it's... I well, whatever. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty simple. Yeah, well, let me let me just say, I think that sometimes these conversations can be beneficial, but the argument against Psycho is going a little bit far. They're going to uh, examine how transgender identity and a, a man dressing up as a woman is linked to violence and mental health. I think the fact that the guy was living with his dead skeleton mom makes him crazy, not the right, fact that he right. was wearing the dress. Oh, but meantime, I got to get to this. Okay. President Biden raising eyebrows during a congratulatory conference call with the NASA engineers responsible for landing the Mars Perseverance rover. Take a listen. This is an incredible honor, and it's amazing. Indian of descent Americans are taking over the country. You, my vice president, my speechwriter, when I, I tell you what, but thank you. You guys are incredible. Okay, so the president went on to describe diversity as an American strength, but the attempt at levity being called tone deaf by some critics. I'm, tell, I'm you telling this guy is a gaffe machine. It's always something happening. Anyway, Swalwell can't get enough of President Trump. Just yeah, can't get enough. That's right. California Congressman Eric Swalwell is suing President Trump in an attempt to hold him financially responsible for the January 6th riot. Now, Swalwell accusing the president of terrorizing lawmakers and causing him emotional distress. The civil suit also names the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., Rudy Giuliani, and Congressman Mo Brooks, all who spoke at the January 6th rally. A Trump senior advisor, Jason Miller, ripping into Swalwell in a statement to Fox News, calling him a low life with no credibility who got caught dating a Chinese spy. So then definitely fighting words. Yeah, Carly, what's the latest on that of him going around with a spy? We still haven't gotten any briefing on that or anything. Yeah, and I think that this lawsuit is definitely a long shot considering you can always make that free speech claim. It seems mm -hmm. like this is more about Eric Swalwell getting some points in the media and getting media attention and Twitter attention than it being really anything very serious. Carla, you know what I think it is? They just can't get enough of Donald Trump. Oh, no, no. They want, yeah, they want to re relive those glory days of, of 2016 to 2020. They, they, they need content. And if you're in the media or if you're even a politician, it was so much free material. Yep. He's, the Trump model is the business model now. Let's just be honest about it. You're right about that, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend, for joining me today. Oh, thanks, Lawrence. Great job. <laughs> and... And thank you so much for watching Fox News Primetime. It has been a fabulous week. I th want to thank the camera crew, my producers. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And you know who's going to be here next week? Trey Gowdy. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Monday, Fox and Friends. I'm Lawrence Jones, and Tucker Carlson is up next.